Hello and welcome. If you want the standard assets, you might have noticed that assets import package does not contain any uh, standard assets anymore. And if you use custom package, you might not be able to find any as well. This has been the case in Unity 2018, 19, 20, and 2021 as well, etc, etc. That's too bad, but there are two solutions. One is to use the asset store, of course, assuming that you are logged in, and then just search for standard assets and download the package. I'm going to show you that in a second. But you can also try to use the old uh, standard assets from 2017 and uh, download these and import these. That's also a possibility. I will show you that in a second. But first, let's go with a standard method and just click search standard assets. Here they are. Let's click that. Press the download button and wait for it to finish. And press import once it's done. Again, I will show you the method where you don't have to do this in a second if you don't want to have an account. Here is the window where I can select the details of what I want to import. The super annoying thing is I cannot handpick the different categories without having to browse a lot through these. It's uh, so much work to do this. So instead, of course, you usually would import everything and waste a lot of space. If, for example, you never want to use the plane, never want to use the character, the third person character, and never want to use a car, etc. This is just a very unpleasant solution having to download everything, but it's in, in sync with current standard of computing. Just expect that game developers have a lot of space to waste. Unfortunately, that's the way to go. Actually, more annoying than the space waste is having to wait for all these long texture imports. In total, this import took me about two minutes. All right, so now we can go back to good old scene. And I don't know what this is. Let's clear and just give it a test try to confirm the yeah, the standard assets are working. So now we can go to standard assets. Let me just confirm how much space we're actually wasting with this. So assets, just with the standard assets, it's, it's 230 megabytes. Okay, it's not as horrible as I thought, but it, it could be much smaller. Okay, standard assets, uh, let's just create a cube, stretch it out a little, and go to characters, third person character, prefabs, third person controller, delete this part, Get this one tagged with player, and I want, of course, a camera, prefabs, uh, multipurpose, and let's go. All right, so good, this works. Okay, now let's just delete everything, because I have to show you the other method. Uh, deleting, all right, uh, let me just delete those two things as well. And now I'm going to show you the alternative method where you don't have to have an account. So on the download archive, you can just Google that Unity download archive or go to unity3d.com slash get dash unity slash download slash archive. Down here, you have to select the Unity 2017 version because that's the last one that has standard assets. Go to downloads Windows, most likely on Mac. You can also get the standard assets. It's a PKJ file, but on Windows, you can just download standard assets. All right, this is a hundred and eighty one megabytes file. Give it a few seconds. All right, here we have it. Now you do have a few options. You can either install it as an administrator and then accept that it changes something on your hard drive. Uh, if you have admin rights, but let's assume you don't. Assuming you do have 7-zip installed, which, oh my goodness, I hope you do. Just right-click 7-zip and extract here. And if you do that, uh, plugins, dear, we can delete. And this weird folder, this actually contains the Unity package files. I'm just going to put them over here. So that works quite well. All right, if you don't have 7-zip, you're going to have to waste a little more time. It's open source, but they don't provide an official portable version, unfortunately. So you will have to go to portableapps.com, download it. Wait, wait, wait. Download, download, download. It's at least only 2 megabytes. And I know it's an exe file, but it does not require admin rights, so that's fine. And then over here is the file. Let's just double click it. Accept, next, and immediately accept. Show details so you're not that bored and finish. Okay, now we can go inside here and run 7 zip portable. And let me just go back. And now let's copy the path where this exe file is contained. Control C. Okay, I guess this is the open interface. Very weird. Okay, let's paste the code in the location in here. Control V. Enter. And here is the Unity standards yada 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 exe file. Let's double click that. No, 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 no. I want to open this. Open. No, no, no. Not like this. I want to open inside. Okay, here we go. Man, you're being weird, 7-zip. Okay, and now we have the 7, uh, I mean the 57 folder. 
And again, from here, we can extract the files. And I'm just going to replace them just for show. So this is how you do it without admin rights at all, without having to install this either with the portable version of 7-Zip, which I can now delete. I recommend 7-Zip extremely, but I'm not ever going to need these again. Oops, I want to delete this. Okay, so these Unity file package uh, files, blah, they should be at a permanent location on your hard drive somewhere from where you can always get them. I'm going to just put them on H, this is an SSD, and uh, I'm going to copy this uh, path. So now, in Unity, finally, go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and here paste the path over here, press Enter, and now you can select the single packages, so we can only import characters, this is only 23 megabytes. Okay, come on, let's go, let's import this, this is a bit faster than importing the entire package, I mean much faster, only 20 seconds to be exact. Okay, so we're done with the characters. Now let's do the same. Assets, import package, custom package. The folder gets uh, saved. And let's import cameras. Now this is going to be quick. Because this does not have any textures. And it's already... Okay, it has some images. Okay, it's already done. And now I can go to characters, uh, third-person controller. I mean, character prefabs. Drag it in. Give it the player tag. And to go to cameras, prefabs, and multipurpose, and we can start. And let me just check how much space we are, well, quote-unquote, wasting this way. Show an explorer. And uh, properties only 30 megabytes, as opposed to uh, 200 and some something. Please let me know if this was useful, especially whether this second method was useful for you, or the first one was enough. I really want to hear whether there are people in need of uh, this kind of offline method. Maybe Unity will do something about their policy change in the last few years where the asset store is more and more important. Maybe they can't. Maybe they do need the people to be exposed to all the paid assets so they can make some money. I don't know about their business problems or uh, hopes. Anyways, this is the solution uh, to get uh, more or less offline the standard assets. Of course, these are for 2017, so there is a slight risk that at some point it will just not work anymore, that the scripts will not work anymore. Then you will have to solve the problems as they appear in front of you, unfortunately. Uh, but, I mean, if something huge pops up, I hope to make a video uh, in the future as well. I will see you in the next video, if you subscribe. Until then, ciao!